Like, can you imagine yeah. walking in there, all, everyone you know, from the concessions to the security and going in the opposing clubhouse? That's weird, right? Lauren, it just, it just the is. world could be burning around and him. And it doesn't matter. And he gets in like a box this. and slaps in that bat on you. He was sobbing his eyes out for a full weekend last year and still got three hits a night. He walked in there yesterday, I'm sure it felt way more comfortable, tipped his hat and went to work. There was so much to digest in this game. I know the three guys I'm going to show have been offensive forces. We could have put J.D. Martinez in this as well with his four knocks and two homers. These guys have been awesome offensively. Sean Murphy, you can argue he's the best offseason trade acquisition for a team this year. OPS-wise, he's in the top 10. But I want to look even deeper past just what they did offensively. There was defense and base running. Good, bad, indifferent that it could be teaching moments. He's on another planet right now. I mean this. I am so, not that he cares what I think, but living in Atlanta for 20 plus years to watch this guy put on a uniform and be the lightning rod, you either loved him or hated him. There was no in between. He has made an effort to say, you know what? I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm gonna prove to everyone I'm the best player in the National League on a nightly basis. So, leads off the game. Here we go. Little double. Beats James Altman because he's got backspin for days. And let me get to second base. Have a little fun with Freddie Freeman, who I thought they were supposed to hate each other, but that's not the case. But <laughs> let's get into some base running right here. Watch this. Do you know the stones you got to have to be able to do this with nobody out? Even if I saw this. Even if I saw this. Look, pause it. Look at this. He's got his back turned, which I understand. You get caught up in the moment. Max Muncy's kicking some dirt. He's not even thinking for one second Ronald Acuna is going to do that. My man Chris Taylor right here has got his back turned. Run it. See you later. That's not Chris Taylor. I'm sorry. That's Rojas at shortstop. Boom, and he takes off for third base. So just the instincts. He's playing the game at a different speed right now. He's got 19 stolen bases. He's going to challenge 40-40 this year and probably win the MVP without question. But this was the difference. Watch this play defensively. Oh, he's back. Right knee ACL a year and a half ago, two years ago. He's coming down right on it. He does not make this play last year. He protects it. He put a governor on himself last year. Very eerily similar Ooh. to when he went down. So what a great sign to watch him offensively, watch him compete on the base pass, and now defense. Freddie Freeman, hats off. You know how I feel about you. Let's get into it. But he's the big fundamental. Anybody who watched the San Antonio Spurs back in the day with Tim Duncan, he did everything right. He's baseball's version of Tim Duncan for me. He does everything right on a baseball field every time, all facets. So we'll throw in the three-run bomb on the breaking ball down and in. But I want to get into his base running, his defense. Watch this. Little base hit up the middle. He made a decision. Soon as he comes out of the box, Michael Harris is kind of Cadillac into that ball a little bit. But watch right here. Pause. I'm going for two. That's it. I'm in. He's got a long way to go. The way they're set up and the way Freddie Freeman cuts the bags, run it. He's got double on his mind. This is hustle out of the box. This is decision making out of the box. Boom. Now I get over to third, Max Muncy, ground ball. Nice play by Matt Olson right here. But oh, Freddie's in position to score. He's thinking, I'm going to get a secondary. Maybe a smidge flat-footed at third base right here, but still ready to react and go. One of the best players in the game. How about this play that gets no run? Perfect. The 1-6-3, uh, the 3-6-3 three, three double play is one of the toughest in the game. He makes it look simple. Clears himself. Sean Murphy, he has been awesome for the Atlanta Braves. Him and Travis Darno, they make the best catching combo in the game. I, didn't th I don't think Alex Anthopoulos, Brian Snicker, the Braves fans knew what they were totally getting with Sean Murphy. You think he smells a ribby right here? That's your catcher catching every day, getting down the line, getting his ribby right there. Now we're going first to third after this. So I just want to give him love for the hustle right there down the line. 
Austin Riley bullet down the left field line. Watch the hustle by Sean Murphy coming around third. This is really the only time you need your third base coach, in my opinion, is to hold me up in a big spot because I'm going right there. But just as much as he was hustling, here's a situation where the game completely changes. Pause it. Give me the bug, please. 6-5. He tags here. We got a tie game. I get it. I've been in this situation where you lose yourself. You think it's a knock. You want to get Eddie Rosario, the cheap ribby, and you don't tag up. The Dodgers tack on an extra run right there. Made it 7-5, and the Braves couldn't come back from it. So not to knock on Sean Murphy. He's an excellent player. But the good base running, the bad base running that doesn't show up in the box score that could affect the final score. Bring up that full screen for us if you can, and we'll get out. Oh. You see, he just hesitates for a split second. He knows it. Watch his face. Yeah. It happens. Look at Freddie Free. Wow. Base running leader since the start of 2022. Wow. I mean, he's right. Jose Siri. Tommy Edmond. Byron Buxton. Freddie Freeman. He's not a really burner. Right. Plays the game. 